welcome. I'm Dr. Dune Studio Brood. So you're thinking about studying abroad. While you think this program may help broaden your perspective on the world around you, strengthen and deepen your academic experience, enhance your awareness about other cultures, you might be right. But what are people not telling you? Pay attention to the following real life stories. Meet Karen. Before studying abroad, her diet consisted of Pop-Tarts, Caesar salad, and Chef Boyardee. Look familiar? Karen studied in Italy, where she focused on her global experience in the country's finest cuisine. However, when she returned home, it left a bad taste in her mouth. This is Karen's life now. Always hungry, but never satisfied after months dining under the Mediterranean rays. I drove to a local farmer's market to pick the tomatoes, smashed by local Italian grandmother feet, to try and mimic the authentic Italian cuisine. It's not good enough. I'll never be good enough! <laughs> Heartbreaking. It's not just you who was affected. Meet Sharon. Her boyfriend Scott just returned from a summer in Dublin. I thought the hardest part would be my Scotty leaving for the summer, but when he came back, he was a completely different person. Hello? Top of the morning to you. Sharon, not you. Picked up a few Guinnesses on the way home at O'Ralph's. It's just Ralph. <laughs> so much for luck of the Irish. And now on to our next victim, however he wishes to remain anonymous. Back in this all felt so normal. I was accustomed to their culture, to their ways. Now that I'm back in the States, things have <laughs> changed. Sir, your class started a few minutes ago. Sir. Senor. We don't observe siestas here. Wake up. Senor. Somebody help me. Ciao. Oh, hi. Uh -huh. Oh. 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 No, be more. Be more. Be more. No, a little more. A little more. Wait, 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 wait. It's European manners. It's polite. Nobody tells you it's going to be this hard. And that's what we're here for. Encouraging students to not study transatlantic since 1953. So the next time you consider studying abroad, remember these horror stories from Karen, Scott, and... And most importantly, abroad is for frauds. <laughs>